Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing. It's been a while since I've done a purse unboxing on the channel. I know, and I have a lot of purses that I haven't unboxed yet, so um, we gotta get into these unboxings. There's gonna be a lot more coming. Time to get the package of the very special. Yeah. Okay, okay let's see. All right, let's unbox. Of course. Ooh, Ooh it feels heavy. <laughs> what could that be? Hopefully they didn't send me the wrong thing. <laughs> I don't remember when I bought this. <laughs> I don't think I can uh, return whatever it is. Okay, now. Is correct? Now, here's a special technique that I use. If I want to not unwrap the ribbon, you go like this. And you slip off a corner. And then you can just slide the ribbon off. And then you can put it back on. All right, this box kind of has the corners worn weirdly. Maybe it got punched around. <gasps> oh my gosh, it actually feels kind of heavy for a small bit. <gasps> oh my god. So by the way, <laughs> this bag is very small. It's a micro bag. <gasps> oh, it smells almost plasticky, <laughs> kind of. Ooh, this color. Oh, for the thumbnail. This bag's actually a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be, so it's going to be a fingerprint magnet, that's for sure. But some nice features of the bag. It's got matching stitching. The nice buckle that's featured on the studio bags that locks as well. So you got the little key clay, with, which is on the inside. Oh my god, I'm fogging it up. I'm fogging it up. Okay, so this is the strap is attached, so you can't remove it. Oh, but it comes apart into two pieces, so you can fold it up. Ooh -wee. So that's the inside. It's roomy enough to put some cards in it, your keys, a lip gloss. Like it's it's this is my bag for concerts, so it's like essential concert stuff. It looks like there's no scratches to the bag that I can see either. Like it looks to be good condition. So they sent me a good one, thankfully. Also on the inside, it comes with this little cleaning cloth. So I looked it up on the website. You can't lock this one, I guess, unless maybe you can reuse a lock from a different one, but I'm not sure. I'd have to test that theory with the different studio bag lock. Smells plasticky. That must be the patent leather. <laughs> but oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Let's uh, do up the strap and I'm going to do up the strap, try it on, and we'll see what fits in the bag. In this little, little bag. Perfect concert bag because this fits the specifications. <laughs> I wonder how patent leather holds up over time. This is as short as you can make it like this. So very cute like this. A little bit high for a crossbody maybe? Uh, I don't know. I think that's cute. Oh my god. I am in love. I'm literally in love. Oh my god, it's so cute. Freaking adorable. Oh my god, it looks so cute with my pink clothes too. I'm too tall. Oh, the patent leather makes the purple color look so much more vibrant. It's really pretty. One of my favorite shades of purple, blue purple. I love that coach came out with a bunch of bags in this color and yeah. I'm excited excited to have my first patent leather bag and see how it goes. Also, something you guys, I cut my hair recently. As you can tell, one side grows longer than the other, but I cut several inches off this side already. But I'm gonna trim up 
this side to make it look healthier and then match it with that. So my hair is about to get a lot shorter next video. <laughs> so yeah, stay tuned for that haircut. <laughs> now time to see. Let's see what fits in the bag. <laughs> so, first of all, open up the little flap. You can see there's a credit card slot you can fit a card in. Made out of leather. I love that it's got purple interior, microfiber inside. So yeah, there's one card slot and then there's also a front pocket you could put cards in, also right here, which has a price tag, which they ripped the price off, so that's cool. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then there's also a back pocket you could slip cards in. So yeah, that's <laughs> That's probably all I'm going to put in it. We'll see. Let's see here. For example, I have a lip gloss. So that fits in there. No problem. Can you see? Oh my god, it's so dark. My room's so dark. Okay, here's a card. A random old GameStop card. We'll see how well these cards fit in the slot. So. In the back slot, let's see. Yeah, it easily fits in there. It, I feel like it's harder to get it out of there. I feel like the front pocket is a good pocket to put a bunch of cards in. That's easy to get into. <laughs> also, something else you may have noticed is I'm redoing the studio. I gotta paint it soon and I got these pegboards and stuff so yeah I've been fixing things up. So yeah new stream background new and improved soon. <laughs> okay what else can I fit in here? We can see if my airpods fit. Let's see. Airpods? Oh yeah you can fit airpods in there and still have a room for one key if you have just one key <laughs> like something like this this is not going to fit you'd have to take the key off <laughs> those are my old keys though but yeah you could fit a few things in there the essentials i would say just a lip gloss a key and cards maybe some cash very minimal if you're looking for a good concert bag like that's concert approved size and everything highly highly recommend it's actually surprisingly heavy for a light like a small bag i thought it was going to be very lightweight for for the size it's it's got some weight to it but it's nice to have a bag that is a lot lighter than the average bag because uh, yeah especially for a concert you want something nice and lightweight so you can dance <laughs> all right everybody i gotta get this bag onto my shelf i kind of want to use it even though well i guess it could be my bag for going for walks or whatever but yeah i was able to get it on sale it's now sold out on coach retail it was on sale for i believe 60 percent off or something i paid 120 so yeah it, it was a steal they also had the baguette size bag but i feel like i don't really want a baguette size bag because you can't fit that much in it. And I'm not sure how I feel about patent leather yet. I'm more of a glove tanned leather, smooth leather person. Don't really like pebbled leather. Not so much for canvas either. Or fat. Well, fabric's okay, but I'm not huge on that either. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be getting more patent leather bags. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how damaged this gets. Because I'm pretty good with my bags, but you never know. I can be a klutz at times. Yeah, new bag. Yeah. Thanks for coming to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, fellow purse lovers. I post a lot of 
fashion related purse videos on here. I'm a huge fan of Coach. I also make art and sometimes Ikea stuff, but not that often, but you know, <laughs> random tutorials here and there. So see you in my next video for more purse content.